welcome to the Ray Train. Join the train by subscribing and click that bell so the train goes Woo! Right now I am in my dorm. As you can tell I'm not decorated very much. Today's video is a listen up seniors. Today's video is a sit down video. I'm just going to be talking about some things that people don't really think of and what goes down on your first like four weeks of college. So yeah, everybody's experience and everybody's college is different and we are in a pandemic so that makes things a lot different and I'm sorry for my eyebrows being really really dark. I don't know, they look kind of good. So the first week of college, class-wise, all teachers do is go over the syllabus. Syllabus is basically rules about college, don't um, plagiarize anything. The schedule, they'll give you a schedule for every week, what they're gonna do, or every class. And then the teacher's contact information. One thing you'll do in college that is very different from the high school I went to is you email your teachers a lot. I've emailed my teachers at least 20 times in the first two weeks. And that wasn't just one teacher though. You don't have as many teachers as you do in high school. I have five teachers. Um, this could depend on how many courses you're taking. There's a thing in college called credit hours. People say, how many hours are you taking? That just means if a class is three credits, that means it's a heavier subject. It's got more material. The material is more difficult to understand most of the time. So that's kind of what a credit means. Plus you need like a certain amount for every semester to graduate on time. Um, I'm taking 18 credits my first semester of college, which is insane. Speaking of insane, college is very stressful. Now you could be taking a easier degree. It's still stressful because Especially nowadays, you have to balance online school, and online is very difficult because teachers put things in different places, and sometimes you don't see it in time, and you have to answer discussion boards. Discussion boards are basically like a stream of students commenting on the assigned post, like the post will have a prompt, a question, and then the students answer the prompt, and then you have to respond to the discussion boards and say like, oh my goodness, such a good point, blah, 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 enough to make the teacher happy. That's not always the case. Sometimes you actually respond truthfully. Sometimes it's just you don't really care. But um, college, there's a lot of fluff. My high school English teacher, whenever we were like, oh my word, I'm just gonna fluff it up, she'd be like, no, I can tell when you do that. But sometimes she couldn't tell. So. There's a lot of fluff in college and, and the teacher doesn't know your writing style yet, so they don't know what's fluff and what's not. So when you first move in, if you're in a room uh, and you're in a dorm, you have a roommate. I don't have a roommate, but that's another topic. A roommate, there's going to be some battles. You're going to battle with the temperature of the room. You're going to battle with space. My things being on your side, your stuff being on my side. If you share a refrigerator or a microwave, you're going to fight over space in the refrigerator. You're gonna fight over who cleans. Cleaning is a big fight. You gotta vacuum. You gotta clean out the microwave. You gotta, if you're in a, a dorm room where you're sharing a bathroom, you gotta take decide who takes out the trash. That's a big thing. Trash is a big argument. Who cleans the toilet? Who changes the toilet paper roll? Like anything that you would fight with your sister if you lived in the same room. Basically, you'll fight with your roommate. But the first week, usually you don't fight. It's very awkward because you're just like, I don't know who this person is. I'm trying to be super nice, get to know them. That's especially, it's awkward starting college because everybody is coming from different places. They're going to one place, but they don't have the same classes, so they won't see each other on a daily basis. It's just a very, very weird experience. So you get out of your comfort zone because you gotta talk to new people. You don't, you can't trust anyone yet. I mean, you might, but like, <laughs> I have trust issues. And that's another thing that I think people really don't think about. When you come to college, I find that nobody cares about you. Nobody. Now it's a difference for every, every person, every different person. 
and it's different for every university. The faculty and staff here are really, really nice, and that's what really impressed me when I came here for a tour, but we're talking about college in general, not just mine. But students, nobody's gonna walk up to you and say like, oh, how's your day going? What was your favorite class today? What's a crazy story you have? What's your name? Like, people don't walk up to me and ask me that at all, like ever. So, it's really, really lonely. College is very lonely. This is for me personally. I find that college is very lonely. You may find that college is super, super fun and you make friends like that and you're just never alone. You always have someone to talk to. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah. College can be depressing because you're trying to find new friends and then if somebody doesn't want to be your friend, then you have like, nobody likes me and it just goes down from there. It can also be anxiety inducing because you have to balance classes, social life, if you have a job, family life, your friends from high school, if that's a thing, becoming an adult, learning a schedule. The third week is when school really gets kind of stressful because you realize that the teachers are gonna start loading on homework and you finally get into a routine and as soon as you get into that routine, it's when the hard brain stretching curriculum is cracked out. Um, one thing about college, the beds are uncomfortable, the showers, unless you live at like some pristine new college, the showers will be old, they will be gross, and they will be stinky. If you're living in a dorm room, it will be noisy. If you live in a community style dorm, there will always be boys on your floor. So here's mine, set up like boys and girls, girls, boys. There's constantly boys on my floor. And even if they lock up boys at a certain time, they will find a way to come in. So just be prepared to have boys on your floor at all times. Um, the showers are usually cold. I mean, unless you figure out how to turn on warm water, which I kind of did, but they're never gonna be as comfortable as home. Oh, your RA, I haven't seen her much at all. So your RA is usually gone, unless you have like, everybody's situation is different, but um, yeah. You will fail a quiz, okay? You'll miss a quiz, you won't see it, it'll get under your nose, and you just, there goes 10 points. I've already missed a quiz. <sighs> it's not the best, but you know what? I learn that I have to stay on top of things, so that's a struggle of college, is you always have to be watching everything because teachers can change stuff on the flick of the finger or the click of a button in this day and age. Campus food is usually very, very gross. And at my campus, the chef or like the cooks, the servers, they constantly went to give you more food. Like I went to get lunch today and I just wanted grilled chicken with cheese on it. No bread, just grilled chicken and cheese. And they were like, bread? And I was like, no. And they're like, fruit cup, yogurt, granola bar, anything? like, no, I'm okay. So, freshman 15 is a real thing if you listen to the, um, the chefs. It is extremely fun to decorate your dorm room. It's very fun because it's like your own little living space. You get to a second home. It's like super cool. Or your home if you're living really far away from college, from home. So, um, here's some really serious notes that I want to end on. Um, I know I kind of flew through everything, but like there's a lot of stuff that people don't tell you about college. Oh, the water's super gross, so you'll need a water and a filter, like a Breda filter thing. Yeah, I would recommend one of those. You'll need a bathrobe, especially. Community bathroom is extremely gross um, <laughs> and like stress-inducing because there's boys on the floor and then you're taking a shower and you have to walk back to your room with a a robe on and you don't know if there's gonna be a boy that's gonna be like coming in the shower. It's like, what are you doing? I don't know if that's a thing, but it could be. And that's very wrong. Um, whenever you're doing your course, usually freshman year you take gen eds, but I kind of got a lot of gen eds out of the way in, in high school. Once you start getting into the subject that you're studying, at least for me, I, you'd start to doubt your major choice. You see another kid studying their major and having a lot of fun in it. And then you see yours 
and you realize this is really, really hard. Do I really want to do this for the rest of my life? And it makes you doubt everything. I mean, it really makes you doubt life choices. Like, you get a bad grade on something and it's in the field that you're studying. You start to doubt, am I even smart? Am I even cut out for this subject? So it's very hard. One of the last, like, notes. I am a Christian. And in college, almost every professor, even at a Christian university, will try to sway you. College is a very liberal environment. And I mean liberal in the sense of political party and just liberal in general. Liberal, democratic, whatever. You get what I mean. I know I'll probably get roasted for this, but you know what? It needs to be talked about. They will try to change your views on life. Your faith will be tested a lot at college. They will word things that sound right, but there's just one thing wrong. And you're like, you know, this doesn't sound right. And it isn't. Slowly but surely, every little story that they give you will have an underlying agenda to sway you to a certain view. A lot of things are out there to make you think a certain way and to change you. So if you're a Christian or a religious person, as people say, your faith will be tested and that you will have to stand your ground if you want to and if you don't want to change your view and if you truly believe what you believe. Now, if you're not like a religious person, then be prepared to have your views changed and without you even realizing it because it happens so subtly that slowly and slowly doubts into your mind, doubts enter into your mind and you begin to accept the things that are taught to you instead of questioning it. I would just say question everything. Just because they're a professor, just because there's some initials behind their name, do not mean that their teaching lines up with your moral compass. So just be very careful. Be in constant prayer if you're a Christian and always be making sure that what's being taught aligns with the Bible. The last thing I want to say is if you're watching this far, thank you so much. If you are, please comment high school. Enjoy high school. Okay? If you get to go to the same classes every day, see the same group of people every day, even if they don't care about you, you have a rhythm. You have a you have an environment and a community. A college, everything is so different because everybody's got different classes, different schedules. They all have their own schedule. There's no bell to like tell you, get up, go to the next class. No, you have to do that. You have to time manage everything. So enjoy high school. Enjoy going to the games. Enjoy getting foo-foo homework because that foo-foo homework helps your grade. In college, you have like four exams and your grade's based on those four exams. Enjoy high school while it lasts. <laughs> I hope this video helps you and if I said anything that you didn't really think of before, you can comment it below. Tell me if I was very informative or not please. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a longer video, but um, have a blessed rest of your day. And make sure you join the Ray Train by subscribing. And click that bell so the train goes. Woo!